Hello, everyone. My name's James. I'm here with some more good news we can celebrate. Jesus, as we know, is God's son. And he was sent to earth not only to save us from our sins, but to show us the best way to live. The things Jesus taught over 2,000 years ago are still really important for you and me today. We can read the things he taught in the first four books of the New Testament. Today's Bible story is one of the things Jesus taught, and it's all about light. Jesus taught the people from a mountainside. He told them about how God wants us to live. One of the things Jesus taught was, You are the light of the world. It's true. The world can be a dark place. There's hurt and pain, sickness, war, death. But as Jesus told his followers, and I think as he's telling you, you are the light of the world. And Jesus went on, a town built on a hill can't be hidden. So imagine you're traveling in the darkness. Are you sure we're going the right way? Yes, I'm sure. Here, let me see the map. Oh. <clears throat> Give it to me. You can't see it anyway. It's too dark. Oh, oh, great. Now we're really lost. How will we ever find our way now? <gasps> Look, a, a city on a hill. We're saved. Woohoo! Let's go. You got it? Ow. Oh, yeah, why did, thanks, ow. thanks, thanks. Is that thanks. necessary? Well, you know, I'm just trying to, we're, we're, we're working together. If there was a bright city on a hill, it would shine through the darkness, right? There'd be no hiding it. Jesus went on. Also, people do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. That makes sense, right? If you had a lamp, why would you cover it up? Ow! Oh, oh, oh well, I, can't, I can't see you. Where, where are you? Uh, here, here, I, uh, oh, 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 ow! Oh, my head, ow! Don't you have a lamp or anything? Oh, yeah, it's under that bowl. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, wow, this is a nice place. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. So did you bring dinner or? Oh, uh. Be right back. Light is way more effective when it's out in the open. That's true with a lamp, and that's true with me and you. Jesus wrapped it up this way. He said, in the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do, and they will bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. You see, we can shine our light by doing good things for others and treating others the way we want to be treated. Oh dear, is it safe to cross? I can't see so well. Oh, it's safe now, Mrs. Fulmer. I'll help you across. Oh, come on, yeah. And we should do good in the world. Not to make ourselves look good, but to honor God. When you follow Jesus and share his love with others, you are the light of the world. Together we can show the world the difference Jesus has made in our lives. We can live with joy, peace, and love that comes from our relationship with him. We can point people the way to Jesus. We can let our lights truly shine. What Jesus said was so important, then and now. People need to know him. They need to know the joy that comes when they put their trust in Him. We can help get the celebration started for them just by shining a little bit of light day by day. So don't keep it hidden. Let your light shine. And you can be a part of helping someone else start the party.